Tomorrow morning, I will be flying to Cleveland, Ohio with only my backpack for six days. But I have not started packing yet, so that's what I'm doing now. Since I'm flying Frontier and they charge a crazy amount for checked bags and carry-on bags, I figured I should save money and try and pack everything into just a personal item. And yes, standard backpacks should qualify as a personal item, as long as they're not overly stuffed. I feel like Frontier's website really makes that confusing because they want to trick people into paying for a bag, but a backpack like this should be just fine. So that's what I'm using. I'm usually an overpacker and I have not traveled without a suitcase since I was a child. So this will definitely be a challenge, but if I can do it, you definitely can too. I'm channeling minimalism. Let's save some money. The first thing I do before I start packing is check the weather so that I have an idea idea of what sort of clothing I need to pack. Obviously in March, Ohio is going to be a lot colder than Florida where I live, but I need to know how cold. It's 33 and snowing right now, but when I'm there, it's not gonna be that bad. When I first open the app, it definitely makes it seem worse than it'll be with the snow falling, but I'll be there Tuesday through Thursday, and it looks like the temperatures should be 40s to 60s. That's actually great. I was expecting it to be worse. If it were 30s and snowing while I was there, then I'd probably need to bring my really big winter coat. That's definitely not going to fit in my backpack, so I would have had to wear it on the plane, which I really did not want to do, but thankfully I don't have to do that. Instead, I'm just going to bring a couple sweatshirts and a light puffer jacket. I feel like two sweatshirts should be good for six days. I've got this light gray one, and then I'll bring this darker gray one. I'll wear one of these to the airport tomorrow, so I only have to put one in my backpack. I'm going to pack the rest of my clothing now too, because I think that's what's going to take up the most space in my backpack. So I think it'll be easier to start there. This is very difficult because I'm used to just grabbing everything that I want to bring and shoving it in my suitcase, but I can't bring everything. I'm going to have to limit this down. Right now I'm holding 11 shirts. I feel like I don't need that many for six days. It's hard though because I want short sleeve shirts in case I get hot in a sweatshirt, but I also want long sleeve shirts because it'll be cold. And then I want athletic shirts because I know I'm going to work out. There's no way I can fit all of of these in my backpack with all my other stuff. Alright, I limited it down slightly. I think I'm just gonna put everything that I want to pack on my bed for now, and then once I have everything, I'll look at it. I might limit it down further before I actually put things in my backpack. Here's where I'm at right now. I have four long sleeve shirts, six short sleeve shirts, a sweatshirt, and a coat. If I need to, I'll put the coat on at the airport, but otherwise I'll put it in my bag. I grabbed a few other miscellaneous items while I'm thinking about it. So I've got my fanny pack, headphones, glasses, a hat headband, my laptop, a book to read on the flight, my laptop charger, and my phone charger. And then I wrote myself a note to remember my watch charger since I only have one of those so I'll need to pack that in the morning. I'm packing my pants now and I think what makes the most sense is one pair of sweatpants, two pairs of leggings, and maybe one pair of shorts to lounge around in. I grabbed all of my pants and the pair of shorts. I'll also be wearing a pair of leggings to the airport, so I might not need to even pack two pairs of leggings, but if it fits, I'll take it. Next, I'm gonna pack my bras, underwear, and socks. I'm gonna put them in these bags. They're just laundry bags, so it's not gonna be helpful with fitting everything in the bag, but it will be helpful for organizing everything. So when I'm actually in Cleveland, it'll be easier to pull these out and find what I'm looking for. But I know there are bags that you can get that squish everything in to make packing easier. I just don't have those. I fit everything in the smaller bag. I'm going to use the larger one as a laundry bag for all of my dirty clothes while I'm on the trip. So just bringing the empty bag. I also just grabbed a pair of pajama pants and 
fuzzy socks to bring. I'm gonna be staying with my mom in Cleveland, so I'm just gonna borrow some of her t-shirts to sleep in, which is really nice because I don't have to pack those. Now I just need to pack my toiletries. Before I do that, here is an update on how everything is looking. It looks like a lot, but since the only thing left to pack is my toiletries, I think it might be okay, but we'll see. For my toiletries, I have pretty much everything that I need to pack on the counter right here. It definitely helps a lot that I'll be staying with my mom because I don't need to pack things like Q-tips or toothpaste or more pads. All of those things together would take up a lot of room in my bag. One thing that she does not have is mascara remover. So I'm gonna pack this. It has to be in a less than 100 milliliter bottle to bring it in a personal item or a carry-on. And I just have a little bit left. I did accidentally buy a smaller bottle of this that I haven't used yet. I remembered that and thought, okay, that'll be perfect for this. But it's 112 milliliters. If you're gonna make a bottle this small, you might as well make it travel sized. But no, you can't bring this. Thankfully, I have these other containers for traveling. So I'm just gonna pour out what's left in here into one of these little bottles. I'm pretty sure I got this on Amazon, but it's just a little kit with a bunch of little containers to make it easier for traveling so that they're in the appropriate size. It doesn't say the size on here, but it's a lot smaller than the 100 112 one, so it's definitely gonna be fine. Perfect. I am gonna bring a small bit of contact solution just in case I wanna take my contacts out to sleep on the plane at all because I generally just sleep on every flight, but I don't need a bunch since I'll just borrow my mom's. And then I'm not sure what face cream she uses, so I'm just gonna bring my own moisturizer. And then deodorant is the only other liquid or cream that I'm bringing. This deodorant is 2.4 ounces which is basically 70 milliliters. So under the 100 limit, this should be fine. I'm keeping my hairbrush, deodorant, mascara, and razor out until the morning. But everything else I'm gonna go ahead and pack in this bag. So I've got a fresh razor blade, a contact case, a little container to hold my jewelry, chapstick, hairbands, toothbrush, extra contacts, contact solution, face cream, mascara remover, medication, and pads. Everything's in here and there's still plenty of space so I should easily be able to fit everything else in the morning. I decided to keep these few items out of there so that I can put them in a different pocket in my bag that's easier to reach on the flight. I wrote those last few items down on my post-it note so that I don't forget them in the morning. I have my outfit for tomorrow ready to go on my dresser and I put my post-it note there so that I'll see it in the morning. I'm also going to wear the leggings that I'm wearing right now and I'm gonna wear my tennis shoes so I don't need to pack any shoes in my bag. So this is everything that I need to fit in the bag. I actually don't think it's too bad but we will see if it fits. I'm gonna start with putting the miscellaneous items in first because those all kind of have to be in a certain spot in my bag and then I'm gonna do the jacket last since if I don't have room, that's what I'm gonna take out of my bag and wear at the airport. laptop is in the laptop sleeve in here. Then my chargers and my headphones are in this inside zipped pocket. I put my chapstick and medicine in this top pocket. And then I put pads, glasses, and my little headband thing in the bottom pocket. I do really like that this backpack has so many pockets. It makes organizing things for trips very easy. <music> 
haven't put any of my shirts in here yet and it's already looking pretty full. So I'm gonna take one of the pairs of leggings out and I'm gonna take the shorts out. I probably don't need shorts in Cleveland. So that'll be one pair of sweatpants, one pair of leggings, and then the second pair of leggings that I'm wearing to the airport. I'm trying to decide what else I want to remove because I don't think everything's gonna fit in here without this being super stuffed. And I don't know if it'll qualify as a personal item if it's super full. So I don't wanna fill it too much. I think instead of bringing pajama pants, I'm gonna bring pajama shorts, and that should be a lot smaller. These shorts take up no room at all. You can just roll them up. That's so much smaller than the pants. I'm not going to bring the fanny pack either. I was only going to bring that because one of my pairs of leggings doesn't have pockets, but the two that I am bringing and my sweatpants all have pockets, so I'm not going to need to use this. This is what's left and this is how much room I have in my bag. I did put the shorts back in just because they roll up so small. So those are in there. I think I'm going to leave the book because if anything, I can use my laptop on the flight and then I know I'm going to borrow a book from my mom that she just finished reading. So I don't really need to bring one. But apart from that, I'm thinking that maybe I should just bring one sweatshirt and I also think I'll just wear the coat on the flight or at least while I'm getting on the flight and then I can take it off. So I'll do that instead of bringing two sweatshirts. I'll just have this one and the jacket and then hopefully all of these shirts will fit right here. If not, I'll take some of them out. I managed to fit eight of the shirts, so I'm leaving these other two behind. My bag is all packed, so I grabbed a measuring stick so that I can double check that it actually fits. And it looks like it should. The measurements are supposed to be eight by 14 by 18 or smaller. So I feel like the height is about eight. That's where my hand is, right here. So that looks right. And then 18 for the length. That also looks right. It's like right there. The width is only 12. So that should fit just fine. Everything that I will be traveling with for the next six days is in here. Based on the measurements, it should qualify for Frontier's personal item. But I will update you tomorrow at the airport once I make sure that it makes it through and onto the flight. I am honestly very impressed with my ability to pack all of that in here when I'm so used to using a suitcase. My bag fit without any issues at the airport, so that is good to know that you can use a standard backpack as a personal item on budget airlines to save money. If you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up, a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me.